Welcome back to another episode of the Fab Farms. My name is Kyle Voss, and today we're gonna feature another one of Fronius's machines. Today we're gonna to feature the Transteel 2700. This is basically Fronius's flagship MIG machine at least in the light industrial side. You probably saw a video a while back where I did the Transteel 2200. So this is like the little brother of the Transteel 2700. I've got them stacked. The way I use this one is I have this one set up to do aluminum all the time. And then this is my steel. This is my go-to steel MIG machine. Now just like every other one of Frenius's machines, this thing is perfect. It's like fine wine. No, like some art it's like it's like a Ferrari it's like a I don't know you touch it you feel it it just has something different a lot of the rad features that this machine has are the same ones I've showed you on this one like the panel filters up front and rear I mean there's not very many welders that have panel filters that I know of so much dust in these shops it doesn't make any sense really to not have some kind of panel filter you just pop these things off it's got a filter in there you can clean it out put it back in it's gonna keep that machine nice and clean on the inside. The whips on these things are phenomenal, high quality. They all come with an extended trigger. I took this one off just because I don't need it, but I mean, even the feel of this thing and the quality of this thing is uh, amazing. One of the things Furnace has done is they have liners that are very easy to replace in these. You just quarter turn, liner slides out, put a new liner in it, quarter turn, you're ready to go. And just like the little brother, the big brother also has the Synergic settings synergic mode which means basically you can just set the thickness of the material you're trying to weld and the wire size and it figures everything else out for you the wire speed the heat all that stuff you set the wire size all you need to do is change the parameter as far as the metal thickness and everything else changes for you there's no guessing there's no trying to figure out what settings you need now you can adjust them if you want to Usually, if the synergic mode is not right, it's very close. You can kind of put a little more heat in it, a little less heat in it, whatever kind of suits your needs. So it also has a see-through panel, so you can see how much wire is left in the machine. I mean, it's simple, but brilliant. It's also smart enough to benefit from knowing what kind of gas shielding you're using. So you can basically program what kind of mix you're using, CO2 versus argon, and whatever mix you're using, you put it in there and it can basically tailor the weld to fit that gas. One of the options with the 2700 is this rad cart as well. Now I've got this cart set up for dual tanks because I have dual machines on this, but you can get it any way you want really. It's kind of convertible. You can get one tank, one machine, have a tool storage up top. You can add this plate, put another machine, and kind of do whatever you need to do. It has nice big casters that roll very easily and it's very sturdy, well built. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to last forever. Well, I mean, don't take my word for it. Go check out all the specs on this machine. If you're looking for a good MIG machine, I definitely suggest you look into these. I'll drop you some links in the description. Yeah, Fronius Transteel 2700. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.